Hey everyone, I'm Liz Ferry and today I'm going to show you how I made these short hairstyles for some of my crochet dolls. I've gotten a lot of requests for a short hairstyle, and I'm finally happy with the look that I got with this technique, so I'm pretty excited to share it with you all. You actually won't need much for this tutorial. A few things you'll need are some yarn, I'll be using this variegated rainbow yarn from Red Heart brand. You can use any color yarn, but I actually haven't tested this technique on anything but worsted or Aran weight yarns, so I'm not positive on how thicker or thinner yarns would change the look. If you try it, let me know how it goes in the comments. You'll also need a doll to add the hair to. You can find a link to my doll tutorials in the description below. One thing to note though, for this style of hair, I'll be adding the hair before I make the rest of the doll's body. So I have an unfinished doll head here. I've just finished the first row of decrease after lengthening the head. This is just to make it easier to sew in the ends, but of course you could still do this with a finished doll. I've also cut off a long tail of the yarn I'm using to make the doll, so I can finish more with it later. And I've wrapped it and secured it with a small rubber band so it doesn't get in the way as I'm working the hair. You'll also need a sharp yarn needle. Make sure it's a sharp needle or it'll be really difficult to install the hair. I use a darning needle. And you'll need a grooming brush. You could get away with using a regular brush for this, but I find that the grooming brush is more gentle on the yarn and it actually works faster with minimal damage. So if you can get one, use a grooming brush. And when you're done, you can use scissors or a razor to style the hair. Just be careful with those sharp edges. Some optional materials are some pins. I'll be using these to mark my doll's scalp so I know where to place the hair. If you want, you could use a wig cap for the doll so that less of the doll's scalp shows through the hair. You can find my wig cap tutorial in the description below, but I won't be using a wig cap for this doll. First, I'm going to mark the scalp with pins all around the hairline. At first, I'll just make a circle of pins all around the head. Then I'll add more pins along the sideburns. Around the ears, and at the back of the head. If you want a more simple look, you can just leave it as a circle around the head. Next, I'm going to thread my darning needle with my yarn. And fasten the yarn to the doll. So put the needle through the inside of the head to the back of the head through the neck hole. Then stitch around once to secure the yarn. Now the next part depends on how you want to style the hair later on. For my doll, I want the hair to have a more swept back look. So I'll make my stitches straight vertical lines parallel to the eyes. If you wanted to make a middle or side part, leave the part area bare of stitches so you can see the scalp through the hair at the part. And work the stitches out from the part with long horizontal stitches perpendicular to the eyes. Or you could also start at the crown of the head and work the stitches out from the top middle of the head in circles. 
It all depends on how you want the hair to flow. For this doll, I'll start at the hairline. So put the needle through to the front of the scalp where you want the hairline to start. And sew lines all around the hairline, keeping the flow of stitches the same as the flow of the hair all the way around.
so I filled in the entire hairline. Now I'm going to fill in the rest of the hair, keeping to the same flow of lines I made around the hairline. Since I'm using variegated yarn, I'm going to try to make a gradient effect with my doll's hair. So I'm going to try to blend the colors all over the head. You don't have to do this if you want, you could just place the colors randomly, and of course if you're just using one color for the entire head, you won't have to worry about this. Now I finished filling the whole head. You don't have to do this, but I like to just to add more strength and volume. I'm going to add another layer of stitches on top of the stitches I just placed, and once again I'm going to make sure to match the colors all over the head to make a gradient effect. And I'm also going to add some eyebrows to the doll. I just need to make sure the piece of yarn I use for each brow matches, since I'm using variegated yarn. If you want, you could just make the brows a solid color, but I'm going to make them a gradient, like the hair.
Next I'm going to use the grooming brush to brush out the yarn I just placed on the head, until it resembles hair. Do this very carefully, make sure you don't brush any of the skin tone yarn, try covering up any areas you don't want to brush. I'm using my hands, but if you like you could use a small cloth. For the smaller areas of hair, like the sideburns and the eyebrows, I'm just going to use my needle to gently pull some of the fibers loose, instead of the brush, to make sure I don't accidentally brush the skin. Then use the brush to grab and pull out those fibers. And now the hair is finished. Well, not quite. He looks a bit like a treasure troll, which is fine if that's the look you want, but that's not what we're doing here, so let's trim the hair. First I'm going to use my scissors to get the hair at the top of the head to a length that I like. Make sure to cut the hair vertically with the scissors rather than horizontally, so that the cut doesn't look blunt and choppy. You want to feather the edges as much as possible. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and trim those wild eyebrows too. If you want to, you could leave it at that. But if you want the hair even shorter, we can trim it with the razor. I'm just going to shave off the ends of the hairs until they're a length I like. I'm going to shave the back of the head up to the crown. and the sideburns.
and I'll also carefully shave the eyebrows. When I finish shaving the back of the head, I'll give it another once over with the grooming brush to help add some volume. Then I'll go back in with the razor just to trim off those extra fibers. Next I'll brush the hair back. And then use the razor to blend the front hair with the back hair. And now the hair is done. Now I just need to finish making the rest of the doll. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like or share it on social media. If you want to check out some of my other doll hair tutorials, there'll be a link at the end of this video. If you want to support my work, consider donating to my Patreon page. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos before everyone else. Find more information at patreon.com slash fairyrings. I really love how this technique turned out. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you use this technique, I'd love to see what you came up with. Send me pictures at any of my social media pages, the links will be in the description below. And if you want to keep seeing new videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!